ninth. He was the first base coach prior to that game as Connor Farrell has been missing with the team the past few days. 0-2, swing and a miss, strike three. Dean gasses up Gerlot and we're underway here in New Hampshire. Pants. One ball, two strikes. Dean through the motion looking for another punch out. Here's the pitch, he picks it up. Swing and a miss, strike three. Dean, two up, two down, both via the strikeout. 31 slugging, three homers, 91 strikeouts when getting off the bus and having to play a game of baseball. Here's the 2-2 pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, strike three. Three early strikeouts for Noah Dean, who looks sharp. Four up, four down from the left-hander from Old Dominion. Going to work out at the top of the second. He sets the belt, kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, strike three. Held by Pendleton. Four punch outs through two innings for Noah Dean, who is walking off the mound in a scoreless game onto the bottom of the second. We go two and two. Okay, two and two. I wasn't actually <laughs> necessarily sure. Regardless, two, two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Five strikeouts for Dean through two and a third, and he's making it look easy. Here's the first down in the third. First left-handed pitching. Danbury team just hasn't been all that great. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Six strikeouts through two and two-thirds for Noah Dean. Fastball's hard. A lot of movement to it. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner on first here in the top of the third. Scoreless between the Westerners and the Swamp Bats. Dean with a long pause as he sets at the belt. Kicks, fires, swing and a miss. Strike three. Seven strikeouts through three innings from the left-hander from Old Dominion. Oh, man. Scoreless as we head to the bottom of the third. Noah Dean with a heck of an effort. Warren runs in one of the third innings. The loss to the Vermont Mountaineers, but he gets the first batter in Hank Thomas to go down via a swinging strikeout. Here's a Juco ball. Skeen's phenomenal, and those 17 strikeouts don't lie. First strikeout for Skeen all night as Feinberg flies that one in the left. Both Matheson and McKenzie will watch it fly. It goes over the wall. It's a home run. Harrison Feinberg, the first pitch he sees, he rocks that one in the center. Westerners lead one to nothing. Yeah, that was a bomb. 102 off the bat. 401 to left center field, and the coolest part about that was that no one moved. One was bound to bend, and that's a great way to do it. Called strike three, fastball at the letters, catches the black, and now two outs in the top of the fourth. 2-2. Swing and a miss. Scarrett goes down swinging for the second time tonight. Again, lots of strikeouts tonight. Skeen already has three through just an inning and a third. In the bat very well, but you know, this is a kid who hit for a 350-plus average Ohio State. Not all that much of a sample size, but looking to drive a baseball right here into a gap, do some damage. Skeen's 1-0. Grounder first base side, past the glove of Rice and in a right for a base hit. One run scores in Rivera. Gerlot's going to be waved around. They're going to try to throw to third to get Corey Morton. Thomas will stay at first. It's runners on the corners. A two RBI single down the line, and the Westerners lead three to nothing. Yeah, I mean, with, with Rice playing in there, the ball was hit very softly, in my opinion, a, a ball that should have been picked up by Rice, but it trickles down the line, and we're going to get a pitching change. Pop out and a strikeout looking. Happening in the second and fourth, respectively. Ground ball over to the shortstop in Tomaney. Can't find it. Bobbles it, fires on the first, and saved by Rice from going over his head, but Bichetti beats the throw. I mean, if you're expecting to win baseball games, those plays just have to be made. It's That's an easy ground ball. You have the easy option to just flip it on over to second. You know, second error. A team that had numerous errors yesterday, multiple errors the night before. It sh you just make it not easy on yourself. Walk. Happening in the even innings, a fly ball over a leaping glove in Cavino into the right center field gap for a base hit. Thomas scores. And Vichetti touches home plate as well. It is a five-run inning for the Danbury Westerners. They lead six to nothing. Be looking for in this type of scenario. You're looking to drive a baseball, and you saw it. Two pretty good looking pitches. Oh, two. Clark. 
fly ball in the right. Moving back, Erlon at the wall. He looks up. It's gone. Jackson Ross looking for a pitch to hit, and he flies one over the convenient medical care sign. The lead is cut in half, 6-3. to three. It's what you're looking for. There it was. Big Jackson Ross goes the opposite way with a fastball after he looked at two fastballs that looked like they were good pitches to drive. I mean, why doubt Jackson Ross? Sixth home run of the season. PBL, let you know what's going on across the league. So Bristol and Mystic played this morning. An 8-3 win for Mystic as the 2-2 swing and a miss, strike three. French picks up his first punch out. It's to Hank Thomas who strikes out for the second time. That's the thing, when he gets the bat on the ball, just flies off. Two balls, two strikes. French looking to put him away. Already he picked up a strikeout this inning. Here's the pitch. Another strikeout. Swing and a miss. Big time breaking ball by French, who came into this inning without a strikeout. Now two up, two down here in the top of the seventh. Bolt via the punch out. Act all night long. And has done similar today, and however, has mixed in a couple of strikeouts. Chance for another. Here's the one two pitch. In there, strike three called. Third punch out for French. One shy of his season high. In danger of striking out again. Rice looking to put him down. Here's the one-two pitch. In there, strike three called. Breaking ball by the knees. Looked a little low, but in all honesty, Brian Roth has been living low for every hitter with not much of a bias standpoint. There's two out. Gotten the first all night. Full count. Payoff pitch on its way. Breaking ball. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Garrett French strikes out the side. Five punch outs through three and two thirds from the righty from Rutgers University. 97 feet, I guess foul. The coach will argue regardless, one ball, two strikes and French looking to put Feinberg away this time. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. The Swamp Bats will wave goodbye to Feinberg and that does it here in the top of the ninth. Running strike three on a ball that was very low and showing his frustration with home plate umpire Brian Roth. Regardless, one ball, two strikes, he sets at the belt. The lefty fires to the plate, swing and a miss, strike three, and the ball game is over. That'll do it here in Keene. A 7-3 win for the Westerners over Keene Swamp Bats tonight. Your final box score, seven runs on seven hits. No errors for Keene and three runs on four hits and three errors for the Swamp Bats in a very premier NECBL matchup. Dan Berry snaps their losing streak. Swamp Bats have lost consecutive games.